I'm Stefania David and I'm the Head of Education. Hi, I'm Winston Ella and I'm the SU President. Hi, I'm Catherine Eager and I'm Head of Student Engagement. I'm Seth Steingrim and I'm Head of Student Wellbeing and we're here today to do some SU autocomplete questions. Yeah. I'm not really trying to get scared. What, what is the purpose of a sabbatical officer? Mm -hmm. uh, our purpose is to, to listen to the students and, see, and do our very best to try and help them. We have each have our individual fields, so um, I'm mainly looking after like societies and some of the fun events that you'll see around around campus this year. So, how does a student union work? So basically, we are there to sort of listen to the students and kind of go out and see them so we're first point of contact for some students that want to come um, and talk to us and then we've got various services that we then put on to support the students um, and we also liaise with the university on your behalf to kind of work that way as well so we kind of work at all levels to try and support you the students. So we represent you and we are here for you? Yeah, basically. What makes a good SAB? Um, what makes a good sub, Catherine? <laughs> really just making sure that you are serving the students as best you can in your in your job and making sure they're happy and well looked after. How do you vote for an SU officer? So this year it was all online? I think it was all online this year. The voting was online by the election period. You can just do your campaign on campus and online as well. Yeah, so you'll see us walking around on campus and there's a whole like election process. And we have different activities during the elections period. Yeah. Uh, what is it like working in a students union? It's been amazing, I'll say. Yeah. Exciting. Very fun. How long can the sabbatical officer run for? So I'm in my second year and this is the last year that I can run for. So each sabbatical officer can run for two years, but these are this shouldn't be in a row, they can just apply for one year, take one year, continue their studies, and after to run again. So I'm now done for a year, so this is my first year. If I wanted to go on to do a second year like Steffi, then I would have to campaign and I'd have to be re-elected. So you'd have to want me to do it. This. So what services does the SU offer? So, like, a couple of the main ones that we have is the advice service. We also have a number of societies that you can join. There's one for everyone, pretty much, depending on what you're into. Um, we have the safe zone scheme as well, the taxis from the library. Um, we also have the Spike Boys campaign as well, the anti-spiking and the go with the flow theory of poverty uh, campaign as well. Uh, why should you run to be a SAB? Because you get t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Okay. So you can represent the students. And in the heart of at the heart of them. Yeah. Another another thing is that uh, you can get skills from being a SAP that you're not going to get anywhere else. So if you're doing your degree and you think actually, do you know what I that looks like a role that I maybe want to do in the future. There's bits of everything in it. There's bits of cons. There's bits of like social media stuff. There's there's loads of opportunities that you may not get anywhere else. So it's a good opportunity for you as a student as well to be interested in it. And it will look good on your CV. Yeah. You also get to make a difference to a, like, a wider circle of people than just students. You can make differences at all levels. You don't just get cool t-shirts at home. <laughs> Teamwork. Do SABs get paid? No, we're here for free. I know this for charity. Uh, the kindness of all. <laughs> we're very charitable people. No, we definitely get paid to do it. Mm. We get paid. It's a full-time yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a full-time job. job, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's 35 hours a week and it is in an office five days a week where they're really doing a job to support the students. It's not just a title that nothing happens. So, Who can run to be a sabbatical officer? Any, any student. Any student. Yeah, any student of so university. Mm -hmm. so all yeah. the schools that are including in this, Warsash, yeah, Warsash. No. Anyone, as long as you're a student and you're truly invested in sort of making a difference or supporting your fellow student body.